Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter and I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Mercari. I had sales on three of the four of those the last two days. I'm gonna be packing up sales from today's Wednesday, so from Tuesday and Wednesday, September 24th and 25th. I had two yesterday, three yesterday. And they were kind of late, and so I decided to wait to ship them out um, or pack them up until today. But I had two excellent ones that sold within hours of me listing. Um, that could mean that I priced them too low. I feel like I priced them exactly right because of that. One of them sold outright. One of them sold through an offer. Both of them were designer items that I showed in my haul recently. I will link that in the description below. Very excited. The first item, not a designer item in any way. It's actually something I picked up at a thrift store for 65 cents. And it's a, um, a PS slash LA, I guess that's the brand, size small Y2K baby tee, t-shirt, strawberry. What else did I say about it? I gotta click on it. Strawberry graphic lettuce edge crop. That's like the roughly edge. When I found a description of it online, that's the way it described it. This sold probably because of the keywords Y2K and baby T or 90s, one of those. It was white to start with, and I dyed it blue, but not on purpose. <laughs> I dyed it blue because there was a beautiful blue caftan, which I still haven't listed, that um, decided to bleed all over my things, and it did this very evenly on this t-shirt. It was one of those like fabrics that's made in India, and I think it has like indigo dye. Um, in retrospect, I should have known better, but I, I, I goofed up. Um, some things got away with no discoloration at all, and some things got completely dyed, <laughs> like this thing. But it still looked cool. Pale blue with strawberry graphic is what I said. It did have a little spot, but I listed it low, eight bucks. It sold full price on Depop. I'm just excited when I have Depop sales because they are rare, but they're starting to become about as frequent as Mercari. Mercari's really died off. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, full price sale, sold in one month. Little baby tea. Here it is. And I'm gonna ship it in one of these little guys here. Let me get the label printing. It's going ground advantage to Kentucky. In this little bitty package. I definitely was forced to wear these types of shirts in the late 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> so I was trying to find the longest baby tees I could because all tees were baby tees. It was crazy. little thank you stickers on my packages just for fun for funsies I got a lot of things photographed today I'm feeling pretty good about that um, not as many listed but I am trying to get photographs of like everything that I got from Colorado which was a lot of stuff Plus some stuff that I hadn't listed from before. Um, plus some stuff I haven't even shown in a haul. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff, but it's good stuff. And I'm happy to have found good things. Okay, I'm babbling. Um, let's tell you how much I made. I made $6.40 on that. My marketplace fees were only $0.95. Cents. Depop doesn't have a fee. They just have the processing fee for the payment. But they don't have a separate fee other than that. Like all the other ones do, they just add it in there. 
um, yeah, eight dollars. I paid sixty-five cents, so I made six forty. It was a quick, a quickie. I wouldn't have spent more than, you know, a buck on that though. All right, this next thing is something I've had forever, and I do believe it sold because I relisted it. I relist things every day, the old things that is. This is a Worthington Petites size small top optional off shoulder it's like black pleated swing blouse i didn't know how to describe this thing so i just i didn't have like special keywords for it it was a promoted listing i had it listed for 10 a customer offered me eight i'm like yes please i had a year and one month the asp was only 840 the sell through rate was one percent i got this in a blue box from goodwill so i didn't source this per se but it was a nice condition. It was a cute top, so I did go ahead and list it. It eventually sold. Would you have listed it? I mean, I got to make back, it's not the one I want to use, the money I put into it, which I, my average cost of goods on that box was $1.48. Got to get that back plus a little profit. And somebody will get a cute shirt that would have otherwise probably ended up in the landfill because who knows if anyone would have bought it if it was at the store. Actually, yeah, because I would have donated it to a, a Goodwill or some sort of thrift store. It weighs 5.3, rounding up to 6. Swing blouse. Cause it's kind of, you know, loose. All right, six ounces. I'm putting it in an eight by 11. And shipping is going to be five, $4.55. The customer paid with shipping 14.05. Marketplace fees were 3.65. And I made $4.37. It's going to California. Every day I have something going to California. I guess it is a highly populated state. Not far from Texas, so maybe shipping's good from that distance. Anything else? I did say, did I say it was promoted and it took a year and a month? <laughs> so. Oh boy, I'm glad it sold. Next item is, um, what happened here? What's this? Oh, I didn't archive it. Uh, is a Poshmark. So we've gone from Depop to eBay to Poshmark. Poshmark item, it is a 3XL Old Navy fleece. Great condition. I also paid very low cost of goods for this. I think it was also 65 cents from that same haul. Let's get the label printing. Poshmark sends you USPS priority label, so you can use any priority packaging that you want. So I'm going to use one of these boxes. I've got a lot of USPS boxes because you can get them for free. And at one point, I don't know. I just ordered way too many of all the different sizes. So I'm going to be going through these boxes for a long time. That's okay. I won't let them go to waste. I will use them. So these have this self adhesive. I don't trust it. I am very um, skeptical the word I'm looking for, suspicious, mistrusting, whatever. I need to package this a little bit less. I want to cram it in there. It needs to be a little less puffy. Little less puffy. And then can I wrap it in a, oh, now 
one needs to be narrower. Trying not to touch it with my clothing too much because I know my clothes end up with dog hair on them from, you know, my dogs. And so I don't want to transfer it. I think I'll put it in a poly and then squeeze the air out of that to protect it a bit. Where will it fit in this one? Oh yeah, this is the big one. I keep forgetting to put my microphone on, but I think the volume turns out okay. Unless I'm like underneath the table. Right? Right? Tell me I'm right. Ugh. Okay. Squeeze the air. Sliding it in the box. Perfect. This is the 1095 box, but it's I have a couple of different variations of it. They, there's like shrinkage happening at the post office and the packaging has been getting smaller for priority. Flat rate and all these things. This is not a flat rate one, but it did get smaller anyway. Okay, print. It's going to Arizona, if I didn't already say that. It's It was just in great condition. It was a large size at 3X. And it's a classic old navy fleece. So for 65 cents, I thought that was a good pickup. Let me tell you what I made on it. I don't think I've said anything about how much it sold for. I don't multitask all that well, I suppose. Um, I had it listed for 18. A customer offered me 12. I took that after one month of it being listed. I had paid, like I said, 65 cents. My fees on Poshmark were $2.95. So I made $8.40. There are some good ones coming up. Don't fail on me with these $6 and $8 sales. I have some good ones. Some designer bolos. Okay, the next one is not one of those, but the one after is, okay? This one is something so grateful sold after all this time. It's a really pretty sweater from Saks Fifth Avenue. It's made with um, rabbit hair. It's Saks Fifth Avenue size extra small sweater camouflage rabbit hair blend sequin black. So it's got this like camouflage in black, gray, and white. And then the white part is got these subtle sequins to it. And it's super soft. It's really a nice sweater. Saks Fifth Avenue doesn't sell junk, you know. And they offered me $19, the customer did, on Poshmark. I accepted that. I had listed it for $29. Originally, I listed it for $43, but that was two years and 10 months ago, so almost three years ago. So I was going to take the $19. It did sell two weeks after I relisted it. So keep that in mind if your listings are stale relist them, like giving them a total new URL, not even allowing eBay to relist it. Like I don't start over in Vindu. I just delist and then relist, but it, it does eventually help get new eyeballs on it. Maybe it would have sold anyway. Maybe someone was looking for a rabbit hair camouflage sweater. Who knows? 2760 is what they paid for this. I, I keep for, oh, this wasn't an on uh, Poshmark. This was on eBay. So they paid $27. Um, 60. I paid $6.52 and I got this at a thrift store somewhere sometime in Colorado because it was almost three years ago. And my marketplace fees were $4.12. Because it had just been relisted, it wasn't promoted yet because I only add things to my promotions after two weeks of them being listed. So that's at least good. It's another reason to relist if you do things in the format that I do it. I don't know if anyone else does it that way. It weighs 13 ounces. 
It's going in a 10 by 13 and it's going to cost $5.89 to ship. So my final profit is $11.07. Coming up. Oh, this is going back to Colorado. How funny. I got it in Colorado. It's going back to Colorado. Where people wear sweaters. Maybe this lady's like, oh man, I wish I hadn't gotten rid of my favorite sweater and then <laughs> buy it again from me. What are the chances? Probably not, right? Okay, here we go. Designer item that sold like that. Sold like in less than one day. It is the Emmanuel Angaro size US 6 vintage wrap skirt, 100% wool woven lightweight, and it was gorgeous. This is going to New Jersey. It sold full price, $59 plus shipping. I was really excited, and then I was like, mm, did I underprice it? I looked up Angaro skirts, plenty of wrap skirts listed for sale for about the same price. And when I looked at solds, I was fine. I was right on the money. In fact, the average sold price for Ungaro wrap skirts, or maybe it was just Ungaro skirts in general, was um, $38.63. This sold in one day, less than one day. And I kind of estimated that it probably cost $595 originally. So someone got an excellent deal. It is so beautiful. Let's get it in a box or in a uh, package, right? Let me get the skirt. Where did the skirt go? Okay, here it is. I'm going to put it in this poly mailer. Feel weird to put designer stuff that originally cost almost six hundred dollars in polyamide. It should get there fine. I've got it double plasticed. Okay, seven ounces, and shipping will cost four dollars and forty-seven cents. I got this on my most recent Colorado trip at a place called Defiance Thrift Store. Don't know why it's called that. And it's in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Uh, what did they pay full price? They paid $65. I had paid $10.14. Marketplace fees, $8.43. And my profit was $41.96. So this definitely gets my, I've got this little target here that I just started using as my indicator that something was at my goal of selling in less than three months and selling for more than $30 plus shipping. That's kind of where I want the average of all my things to be. Obviously not every single thing is going to be, so I'm hoping some things bring that up. And this is one of those types of things. So glad I picked that up. The next one is something I got for free from my dad. We go from designer wool to drag racing t-shirts. This is a Gildan size extra large t-shirt winged express drag racing signed by Mousy Marcellus. Now there's two guys who were part of this uh, winged express racing team. And one of them passed away. The other one was Mousy, and he would take this on the nostalgia drag racing circuit that we would go on with our race car. And he signed it for my dad, and he has since passed away too. Um, I think just, you know, from being old. Hopefully that was all. Um, and so uh, my dad is no longer wearing all these drag racing t-shirts. I sell every single one I put up there. Now, it only sold for $20 plus shipping, but that's still pretty dang good for something that's sitting in your closet not getting worn anymore, right? 
And someone will get a little piece of history with that shirt. Now it's a nostalgia shirt, so it's not from the 60s, but it's got a design on it um, with the car that was from that time. Uh, $26.70 is what they paid with shipping. $3.84 were the marketplace fees. And this sold in one month, one day after relisting. Relist your stuff, guys. It's 9.1 ounces, so I'm rounding up to 10. Shipping is $5.07. The cost of goods was zero because dad gave this to me, and my profit was $17.79. This is going to Missouri. Enjoy. Your drag racing t-shirt, sir. Two more items, I think, and one of them is another one of those designer items, so hang in there. I think it's the most recent one that sold, so it'll be the last one. I did get a pretty good offer just a second ago, but I'm gonna take a look at it after this video. Okay, this one is something I picked up at a garage sale. Totally changing gears to Plush stuffed animals. This little guy has his legs up. He is uh, Buck the deer. He's a Scentsy buddy. So you put a little smelly thing inside him, and he's got the green mossy oak camouflage hoodie on. Um, he's 16 inches, and guess what? He sells. I had him listed for 25. I sent an offer to Watchers on eBay for 20. Someone in Illinois is going to, oh, actually, no, this someone in Canada is getting this. This is going through the eBay Global Shipping, International Shipping, whatever it's called now. So someone in Canada that paid even more than what is coming to me, which was $28.60. I paid a buck at that garage sale. Aha, his name is Buck, right? And the marketplace fees were six sixty eight. dollars He sold, promoted, uh, in just a little over a month. All right, let's get you in a, do you have anything here? Yeah. Okay, because he's got some hard eyeballs, I want to put them in a box. Um, this box is too small. So I do a good box. too big. I like Goldilocks. This one might be just right. This is a neighbor of mine who has saved her Amazon boxes and all her other boxes. She orders a lot of stuff. I don't know. Maybe she can't leave the house. I'm not sure, but convenience is... I don't doubt... I mean, I don't blame her. I would order a lot of stuff too. Okay, noise tape, tape noise right here, loud. That was my very well articulated warning. <clears throat> tape loud. That's what I said. I just found this lady on the next door app, asked people for boxes, and she's the only source I need because she orders enough. And I have the free ones from USPS. Plus I have, I have um, other ones I bought for specific sizes. More tape noise. This is a Eleven by eight by eleven by eight by six, basically. I have a little tape measure taped to my desk here. What did I say? Eleven by eight by six, and it weighs fourteen ounces. It's going to be five eighty nine to ship. All right, drum roll for the profit. 
$15.03 on a stuffed animal. A smelly, a smelly, not smelly, like a perfumey stuffed animal. Going to Canada. Have fun. Have fun in Canada. I don't know how the shipping program works as far as like, will he see my sticker? I don't know. Okay. Last item, total bolo. Um, I don't think every single Stella McCartney sweater is going to sell for a hundred dollars, which is what this sold for. But this one seemed to be a bit rare. I only saw one other one listed. It was listed for 125. I listed mine for 125. We had two different sizes. And I saw one sold in this print, but it was in the gray, which was also on the runway and also seen on Liv Tyler and it had like a higher neck. Otherwise it was pretty similar, just different colorway. And then that one sold on Worth Point for $300. But because there was someone else who had listed one for 125, that became the price point. Someone offered me a hundred on Poshmark within a day of listing it. And I said, okay. That seems to be fair because in all honesty, if it hadn't sold in two days, Posher VA is what I use for automation and it would have sent out an offer for a hundred dollars. So there you go. It, I might as well take the offer the very next day after I listed it. Now I listed it last night. Okay. So a hundred bucks. I paid four seventy four. dollars um, My marketplace fees are 20 Shipping is zero, so I made $75.26, and that probably covers everything I spent that day thrifting. Um, so that's awesome. Everything else I made was profit, like pure profit. Um, that um, Garo, Emmanuel and Garo skirt came from the same shopping trip, just a different location. This one came from a place called Community Thrift in Glenwood Springs. Gorgeous sweater. Okay. What am I going to put it in? I'm going to put it in a box because it's going out Poshmark. And I can use the priority box. Let me get it printing. It's going to Illinois. For real, not, not uh, shipping, global shipping. I don't know my cities or anything in Illinois other than Chicago, right? And I'm sure, you know, like this could be a, a suburb for all I know. But I've never been there. I really want to go. I was supposed to go. Trip got canceled because they closed down the entire Chicago O'Hare Airport. Crazy for wind. It's the windy city. I guess there's no defense against the wind, though. You gotta close down. So we didn't get to go to my stepson's um, graduation boot camp. Graduation, I guess that's what they call it, uh, from the Navy. I was very disappointed. It was me and my mother-in-law and my husband, and we were so excited to go on this trip, see a little bit of Chicago, see Thomas, and, you know, see him become an adult, <laughs> sort of. All right, last item, that's it. So I'm going to tell you how much I made total in this two-day period. Let me make sure I have everything shipped out. Yes. And so I need everything to have the date of the 24th or 25th. So I like to check that first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sales. So four a day on average. 
I use Vindu for everything. I love it for its analytics. Um, my total revenue for those two days was $281.95. Total profit was $180.28. And my average sales price was $35.24 for those eight items. Cool. Five on eBay, one on Depop, two on Poshmark. That's the breakdown. All right, everybody, um, please give me a thumbs up. I would ask for two if it would allow you, <laughs> but just one is good. If you have not subscribed and you want to see more what sold like this, I may not have a whole lot of items every day, but I feel like I have some good information to share. I share my, my um, failures with you too, not just my successes, and I'm completely open about what I spent and all of that. So um, just keep listing.